Good morning my crafty friends. This is Jackie and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, this is week number two of the Winter Fun collaboration which is being hosted by Crafty Mama and This and That with Michelle. Hi ladies. Um, so for week two we were to make shaker cards and before I show you my cards um, there is a story behind it but before that I want to say um, in order, uh, this is a four week uh, collaboration. So we're gonna show projects for the first three weeks and then for the fourth week, um, we're all going to have a prize on each of our channels. So in order to participate for those prize, um, we have to, you would have to uh, watch all three videos, comment on all three videos, and each each individual person will have their own rules to their uh, prizes. So make sure that you watch the videos all the way to the end so that you know what you need to do in order to participate for their uh, prizes. So there are 24 of us in uh, in this collaboration. So please make sure to go and watch all of their videos, comment, share, like, and um and you must be 18 years and over in order to participate. So um, with that being said, here's my story about my shakers. So um, first of all, don't look at my nails. They're horrible. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, my story is when this collaboration, when I first saw, saw uh, uh, the sign up for the collaboration, I thought it would be a fun idea to go ahead and do it. So. And since I love Christmas, why not? So I participated and um, Crafty Mama sent me the rules and what we were supposed to make each of the weeks. And when I saw that one of the weeks uh, was to make shaker cards, I was literally deciding not to join uh, the collaboration just for that. Why? Because every time I make a shaker card, it just doesn't turn out right at all. So, um... I was literally just going to give up, but she sent me a, a link to a couple of videos on how to make uh, shaker cards using different uh, items, uh, different things like tool, uh, plastic bags, uh, vellum, acetate, all that stuff. So I watched them and I watched a couple of other videos as well and I decided to try it. So I went ahead and did uh, my shaker cards before I did the... Uh, collaboration just to be sure that uh, I could do it. So this was my first card. It's not a great uh, looking card. It's a simple card. Um, this is here is a little plastic bag that I have and I had a little piece of square uh, card stock there so I, I attached that there and I put some sequins and some stickers from the Dollar Tree and then some bling around the edge of the card. But as you can see, when you shake, it doesn't really shake a lot. Okay. Now, I've seen shaker cards in these videos. And, and when they shake it, I mean, I hear it. And, and that that's fun when you hear it like that. But, um, I mean, it still moves a little bit, but not as much. Okay. Now, my thing is whether I put maybe too much or I don't leave a lot of, uh, like, space for it to move. So, I really don't know what it is. So that was my first card. And then I decided to do this tag. Okay, I had made this tag uh, before and I had it in my stash. So I decided to make it into a little shaker. So again, I took a little, uh, little plastic bag and I added some sequins. And I also put some little bits and pieces of uh, uh, die cuts that I had. Uh, little bows and candy canes you could can see there and whatnot and stars and then I added some sequence to it but and then I um I closed it with uh, the washi tape but look there's hardly any movement at all in this so I was just about to give up but I didn't I continued I said no 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 I will continue until I get better at it so I made this one now you don't see any sequence or anything in there right why? Because, again, this is a learning process for me, guys. <laughs> um, the foam tape that you're supposed to put around the edge here, 
I put it, I guess, too far down. And so all the sequins in this it, are hidden. So you can't really see it, but they're right there, as you can see. See? They're there. So that's a piece of vellum that I used. And I cut out a, a heart shaped. And um, then I added some stickers from a, a little uh, sticker book that I bought from Michael's. A couple of stickers there. And uh, let me see. Let me show you the inside, I guess. So, yeah. So, um, I mean, I watched some videos. So, that's it right there. And, again, I said, okay, this one was a little bit better. But when I put my card down like this... I saw the sequence disappeared and I was like, oh no, I goofed up again. <laughs> so I, and look at that snowman with that little cat. Isn't he adorable? They're just adorable. I love that sticker. But, um, so yeah, so another flop. I kept on going. Then I received this penguin, uh, uh, folded from the Stamps of Life. Okay, I bought it because I thought it was so cute. Look at him. And I had a stamp uh, of a coffee thing, so I stamped it out, fuzzy cut it, and I colored it using some glitter gel pens, as you can see there, some glitter on it. Okay, and then uh, before this, I had went to Joanne's, and I decided to buy some seed beads. Okay, so I thought maybe it was the sequence that I was using. So I went ahead and bought some seed beads in some Christmas colors, greens, and... And non-traditional colors as well. Some pinks and red and purples. So. Sorry. There's like a hair there somewhere. I think. Anyway. No, that's not it. Alright. So. I decided to cut this out. Using a die that I have here. Uh, that looks like a little arch. And I put some seed uh, beads in there. Maybe I put too much. or Maybe not. I don't know. But again, it, it's a little bit better, but not not what I want to see. Not 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 the kind of shaker cards that I see on videos. So again, like I said, this is a learning process. But, you know, I thought I was uh, doing a little bit better. I decided one more time to do another one. And then using the last sticker from that... Um, uh, window decor that I bought in the first video that I made cards for in the first video if you guys remember these cards that I showed you uh, if you haven't seen the video I will link it uh, go back and watch the first video so this is the sticker from there and then I had this acetate paper with uh, polka dots on it and I used that as the background and I closed it up with uh, some glitter washi tape gold glitter washi tape and I Added a little bit of sea beads in there, some reds and whites, as you can see there. And now you can actually hear. I can actually call this a shaker card. Okay, because now you can actually hear it and you can see it moving. So I'm really, really happy about this one. Now I'm still, I'm still learning. So um, not all of my cards are gonna come out the best, but um. At least I didn't give up and I went ahead and did what I could. So uh, that's my story with my shaker cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And again, I will link everyone else's uh, videos below. So please go check them out. Don't forget to subscribe. Be a visible subscriber. Uh, comment and share and like. And, uh, and that's it, guys. So thank you. Have a great Sunday. And until the next video... Bye-bye now.